for Antonio Brown. Damon, obviously they were unable to do so. He tossed his shoulder pads, stripped off his shirt and glove, threw those into the crowd, then ran across the field while the teams were still on the field, giving the crowd a peace out sign. While it may seem like ages ago now, there was a time where when you heard the name Antonio Brown, all you would think of was a star receiver who was on his way to being one of the all-time greats. But over the last few years, antics and bad decisions have absolutely ruined Brown's career, and even the people around him. And today, I'm going to take a look into Antonio Brown's career and detail the success, failure, and future of A.B. Antonio Brown's journey to NFL stardom began during his college years at Central Michigan University, where he displayed exceptional skills and remarkable work ethic. Despite being a relatively unknown prospect who was pretty small for the position, Brown's incredible speed, agility, and hands caught the attention of scouts leading to his selection by the Pittsburgh Steelers in the sixth round of the 2010 NFL Draft. And coming into the league, there were no expectations for AB because most people picked in the sixth round usually are short-lived in the NFL. But AB was a grinder and continued to do so while building a name for himself in a very talented league with huge playmakers. AB at only 5'10 had to be exceptional at every aspect of being a wideout. And he was very quickly. While in his rookie year, AB only really ever saw the field when he was returning punts or kickoffs on special teams, his sophomore season would be a different story as AB became the playmaker we all know him as today recording his first season with a thousand plus yards. And while he still put up solid numbers in 2012, he was not on the field due to some minor injury trouble. But once he was healthy again, he put the league on notice. 2013 was the first year he truly looked like the best wideout in the league. And from 2013 to 2015, Brown had 1500 plus yards every single year, making all pro first team two times and all pro second team one time. But an event that many would consider was career altering took place in the wild card game versus the Cincinnati Bengals in that 2015 season, where then Bengals linebacker Vontez Perfect delivered one of the most brutal hits across the middle to a defenseless receiver in Antonio Brown, who was concussed and got knocked out by this egregious hit by Perfect. Many people claim this was a point where Brown started to decline on and off the field with some pointing to this hit giving Brown CTE, which if you don't know what CTE is, it's basically a brain disease which can develop into dementia that is caused from repeated blows to the head, which obviously if you're playing professional football in the NFL, you will repeatedly get hit in the head. And while we don't know enough about the nature of CTE to say whether or not this one hit caused AB to get it, or if it's even possible, or if he even has it at all, what I will say is this hit definitely started the downward spiral of AB as we knew him. While AB may have not had the same numbers in terms of yardage as his 2015 season, where he put up a staggering 1,834 yards, Brown was still as lethal as ever. And while touchdowns are a very weird stat when it comes to any position other than quarterback, Brown was as effective as he ever was. He led the NFL in touchdowns at his position in the last three years he was in a Steelers uniform. But the true downfall began after his 2018 campaign in Pittsburgh. As the big three in Pittsburgh of AB, Big Ben, and Le'Veon Bell, also known as the Killer Bees, was successful for so many years, had been broken up due to contract disputes. And tensions in that Pittsburgh locker room flared up, which caused Brown to be moved to Oakland in a blockbuster trade. Trading in the yellow and black for the black and silver, the Steelers reaching an agreement to trade the four-time All-Pro to Oakland for a fifth-round pick and a third-round pick. Wait a minute, he's really crazy. Look at this. He, he's giving them a problem with the helmet. Drew Rosenhaus says, well, they got off to a bad foot because of the helmet. That wasn't the Raiders. That was the NFL. Then a million other things, including taping a conversation with Gruden. Which is illegal. Which is illegal in the state of California unless both parties know about it. Antonio Brown. Yep. He, want, he, lo he loved his passion and his work ethic when he didn't have to coach him. Mm -hmm. Now he sees what Mike Tomlin had to deal with for yep. the last seven, eight years. And he's like, what the? How? They lost it. Let me see it. Look up Adam Schefter. The Raiders. Free! Bro, I don't oh, 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 oh. Let's go! 
after all these antics with the helmet and whatever else was going on at the time, after only one training camp where he barely showed up, the Raiders finally cut AB. And you've seen the video, and it was extremely viral at the time. AB was screaming, finally free, and he was so happy. And at the time, it was funny. And, you know, it still is kind of funny. Like, you know, oh my God, he's so like, he's so gassed that like he got cut from a team, even though he's getting this big bag to play there. And all the disputes are really about some stupid stuff. Like his helmet, he wants to wear his old helmet. It was clear that he didn't want to be a Raider from the beginning. But this, you know, fumbling bags and ruining his career for literally no reason started around this time when he got traded even before you know he was already doing dumb stuff at the end of his Steelers tenure but this all led him to get cut from Oakland right and um right after this started the trend from AB moving from team to team I mean the Raiders didn't last long it didn't he didn't even play a game there right and soon after the Patriots signed him and I'm a big Patriots fan so when I heard that we were getting Antonio Brown I was hyped I mean, Brady and Brown, this ended up being Brady's last year. And I mean, AB was a big weapon already. Uh, the first game, I'm pretty sure he had like 56 yards, three receptions and like a touchdown. I don't know if those are the exact numbers, but he, he played pretty good. And he couldn't even make it one game without getting into more drama as he was accused of sexual assault by a former trainer of his, which caused the Pats to part ways with him, which they later settled on. But all the drama was too much for Belichick and Kraft as they let him go, and we wouldn't see AB in an NFL uniform for some time after this. And this had so much potential. I mean, AB did go on to do some some good things in the NFL after this, but, I mean, uh, the Patriots would have been a great place for him to be. And, you know, I think, honestly, him being there, the Pats would have had a chance to win that year. And, honestly, Brady, Brady might not have left if AB and them had a good year that year, but, you know, AB only played a game. The Pats lost to the Titans, and, you know, that ended there. But they did end up reuniting soon after. After more than a calendar year, Antonio Brown finally signed with the NFL team, which was the Buccaneers. The retooled Buccaneers, that is, with Brady building his super team in 2020, with himself signing there, Gronk coming, AB coming, and that stack defense, along with Godwin and Mike Evans already being there. But... AB finally came away with some hardware and he won his first Super Bowl in a blowout versus the Chiefs and he did have a touchdown and produced and he was good that year even though he didn't play the whole year he had some nice production and in my mind at the time he was probably going to have a few more years of solid production and we didn't really hear of too much controversy which was very very surprising at the at that point with all that had happened but AB was not done yet, as everyone remembers will probably go down as a career-defining moment for Antonio Brown, as he walked off the field without a jersey after an argument with Bruce Arians, waving his arms, basically openly leaving the team behind, and this is the final straw for AB in the NFL. And while more time passes, it becomes increasingly less plausible that Brown will ever get another chance in the NFL, but... That week 14, week 15, I believe, game uh, versus the New York Jets in the 2021 NFL season completely encapsulates everything that was Antonio Brown at that moment. Everything since that game versus the Jets over a year ago has only hurt AB's perception, and he is constantly doing things that are not beneficial to his career. And to me, the story of Antonio Brown is one of wasted talent. As without everything that went down in the last four years, Brown would most likely be considered a legend and a first ballot Hall of Famer, and widely regarded as a top five receiver to ever play the game of football. And at the time of before he got traded to Pittsburgh, even around that time with the Raiders, I mean, everybody thought this guy was on pace to be the greatest wide receiver of all time. I mean, he was skill wise, I had never seen a wide out like him. I mean, he, he was great. I mean, technically, he had the hands, he had the route running ability, he had the speed, he had all the intangibles. The only thing he didn't have is, was size, but he had all the skill in the world to make up for that. But after countless idiotic decisions, he landed himself out of the league and destroyed his own reputation. 
but at the end of the day on the field he is one of the greatest talents i've ever seen and no one can deny his skill as a football player i just hope he does not have cte or any long-term head trauma from playing the game of football that have affected his actions for the last four years and it's only him and himself to blame but without further ado that is all i have for this one um lle out i just want to say um I have had a lot of personal stuff going on in the last few months, and I'm sorry. That's why I've not been able to upload. Honestly, I think some of it's just an excuse. Like, I definitely, I definitely had some serious stuff that was going on outside um, in my real life, but it was just a lot of outside stuff. But um, I'm here now, and I'm gonna try and upload consistently again. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'm out of here. Peace. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe.